Alright guys, so I went 45 days for this whole NoFap challenge and I regret to inform you that I failed. Yeah. 45 days is actually the most I've ever gone without doing this sexual act and I gotta say I'm quite proud of myself, however just with anything in life, I guess, you just you start to realize the traps and the justifications. And the, the way that this happened was that I was edging, which is basically, it's like playing with yourself and you're like at, on the edge of coming. And I may have gone one stroke too much because I was like, no! All my hard work. But nothing and then I just got like this huge rush of like shame and regret and like oh you piece of shit but then I quickly turned that around I'm like hang on hang on I know you fucked up yeah you did yeah you even went 45 days without watching any porn at all which is like fucking unbelievable there's like all these noise out here I'm just by the way I'm in Santiago Chile where it's like fucking intense riots people attacking cops <sighs> Revolution, anarchic revolution, but anyway, that, I'm going off topic. I'm just want to tell you guys where I am, but yeah, man, I fucked up, and yeah, I had this you know wave of regret and shame and all that kind of stuff, but then I had to just kind of reframe this situation and you know, f you know, feel proud of myself because there's also there's no point feeling shame and regret when it just feeds this vicious cycle. So, I'm gonna start the whole 90 days again. My poor girlfriend, man, but fuck, I gotta do it. I gotta do that hard reboot. But this time around, I'm much more aware of the traps and the, the deceptions and resistance of my mind and the world. So this time, I actually wrote, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna read it to you because I think it's very powerful to physically write down words because, you know, write a contract for myself. So no fap, again. Ground rules. I reject playing with myself, even edging. So no more edging. Zero porn and even sexy photos. At least conscious. I mean, yeah, of course, if I you know walk past and I see a sexy girl on a billboard, as long as I don't just stare at it, um, that's fine, right? I may give you senior sex after 45 days, but zero coming. Now the reason why I'm going to do this is because it's uh, it's not my it's not her fault that. I fucked up this whole challenge and it's like why am I gonna punish her so after 45 days I shall pleasure her but I will not ejaculate there will be zero sexual activity of any kind again only pleasuring your senior after 45 days and if I have the urge to play with myself go for a run cold shower exercise make a video creativity etc absolutely zero ejaculation for at least 90 days get my mic on cool i gotta leave soon this includes edging absolutely zero edging for at least 45 days and then only with yesenia and then i thomas my full name declare that i will abide by these rules and be impeccable with my word and reject any form of resistance that will cause me to break this contract. I promise and swear to complete the no fap 90 day challenge. And then I signed my name. And then on the day, I even put like on the 9th of May, 2020, this is Tom from the future, right? We're fucking, we're going fucking meta with this shit. Hey mate, this is Tom from the future. I'm proud to say that you have not only completed this challenge, but your mental, spiritual and physical health is at an all time high and still growing. I'm making more money than ever and growing my brand and business. My relationship with Yesenia keeps getting better and you're much more efficient in the bedroom. Not that I was having any problem in the bedroom. In fact, I kind of have an opposite problem. I might be a little bit too irresistible. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. All right, sorry for the swearing. Um, again, I mean this anarchic revolution, a lot of hate and horrible profanities and violence here and I've noticed that I've like been swearing more especially like it's just such a contrast going from like you know I spent two and a half weeks at a 
retreat in Peru, drinking ayahuasca and San Pedro and being in this majestic mountain and now I'm like in this chaos. But I think it's a good balance and a good psh, dose of reality, you know, before I go home. Anyways, and on top of that, I'm the happiest I've ever been and I'm a lot more resilient to resistance. I'm also really buff because like, you know, I've got to get back into the gym, I'm going to start jiu-jitsu when I get home. So yeah, so keep going mate, anytime you feel a sexual urge, just read this message from your mate Tommy. I'm counting on you buddy. Cultivate your sexual energy and just watch how easy success gets and how much of a powerhouse your creativity is. Not to mention your extreme energy levels. You got this brother, much love, Tom. Thanks Tom, so yeah, so that's Tom from the future, giving me a word of support. But I noticed that after this whole thing, uh, my energy level definitely dropped. And again, I felt like, oh man, what the fuck? Idiot! Your brain can just justify anything. And I'm like, yeah, well, I'm just playing. It's not like I'm watching porn or anything like that. I'm just feeling the sensation. <laughs> yeah, that's a trap. So, yeah, don't edge. Well, you can, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm just uh, sharing my journey. But we live and we learn. So, I went 45 days, guys, and I just want to tell you right now that my confidence my energy, my creativity, and all, man, I don't, what else has increased? Just everything, even just that, just the energy, the creativity, the confidence, my strength, my willpower, my resilience to be able to resist certain things, like, for, like I'm a sugar fiend, for example, and this is the least I've ever eaten sugar. And even after I relapsed with, of this nofab, I didn't just go straight to sugar. In fact, I had to like, uh, what is it, overcompensate with this loss by doing more exercise, journaling, positive affirmation, making videos, going out there in the world, doing shit, hustling, etc, etc. So, that's my update guys. Please forgive me. I'm talking to myself. I don't need your approval but I wanted to be honest and not just pretend that I was you know I did the 90 days so I'm starting again <laughs> but this time I believe in myself more and of course I'm much more aware of the uh, spiritual traps that I may fall into so if you're on this journey with me you got this if you relapse don't fall into the the chaser effect where like you know, when you relapse you just start masturbating again or whatever it's all good you got this we got this love you guys catch you on the next video like and subscribe boom